Hey guys, welcome back. So in the last video, we learned how to split transactions into categories. In this video, we're gonna learn how to add customers and clients into our QuickBooks Online. Quick little trivia, what's the difference between a customer and a client? Eh, nothing. We use those separate words based on different industries, like uh, lawyers, uh, CPA guys. Yeah, they have clients, but they're really just customers. Um, and it, they don't have to be your customers yet. Maybe you just have a potential customer, a really warm lead, and you just want to re retain their information as much as we can, because like I said, they could be an upcoming super, super, super warm lead. So what do we want to do? Well, from the top, from our dashboard, let's go ahead and click on sales over here and you see where we've got customers just right there. If you don't have any customers, there might be some like disclaimer or something. But uh, I don't know how the, the user interface changes like every six months. You might have something to add customers, this and that. Eventually, you want to get to this spot where you see your sales invoices, products, and services up here. Let's go ahead and click on new customer. And again, we might not be sending them a estimate or a uh, an invoice. Another trick, quick, trick, trivia, pop trivia question. What is the difference between an estimate, a bid, or an invoice? Well... It's real. They're all the same thing. It's a proposal. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> an estimate and a bid is a proposal. An invoice is when you've already done something. You've done a service or uh, sold them some product and then you send them a bill. Generally, I don't know, net 15 or net 30 uh, when you want to get paid. But we'll, we'll cross that bridge when it comes. Okay, so again, maybe they're not our customers yet. We're not re really ready to send them um, a bid. We just want to hold on to their information, so we'll just do uh, John uh, Struggle Pants. It will be his name. Display his name is John. Put all the information you have down for these people, and never delete customer information. I don't know if I've never really deleted it. You always want to have customers' information, whether you want to invite them to a wedding a year down the road, maybe there's a lawsuit, maybe you're involved in something right or wrong, and you need their information. Fill this out as much as you can, as as, mo as much as it is humanly possible, uh, for the sake of creating, a, for an example, maybe put an old email in here, and maybe send an invoice to yourself. We'll talk about the invoices in the next video and how to make them professional and customize them. And this is it. Uh, look at what you can put in here. Obviously, the phone number's huge. Website, um, company, this and that. No, it's does he owe you money? Is there an outstanding outstanding balance does he hate getting emails does he prefer sending mails or phone call any of that stuff save it john this like this and that we've got john struggle this is him he's in our system he's got nothing due overdue over there we can always go back and we can edit this guy's stuff that's it we've got our customers over here that is it again they could not be our customers they could just be a very warm lead a big a potential customer in a year from now and 10 years from now, but we just want to hold on to their information as best as we know how. That is it. In the next video, we're going to start talking about invoices and everything else, receipts, estimates, all that stuff. And we're going to customize that stuff and make it look professional. Thank you for watching. That is how you add customers in QuickBooks Online.